Now, if you turn to 60 today, happy birthday to you, but you won't be able to claim your free bus pass until 2023. Now, if you lived in London, you'd be riding the buses for free from today. Well, it's the same in Wales and Scotland, and now a local MP is calling on the West Midlands Mayor to use his devolved powers to get the over 60s a better deal. When your 60th birthday rolls around, here in the West Midlands, you'll still be years away from the free bus pass enjoyed by your contemporaries in Scotland, Wales and London. It's a benefit potentially worth thousands of pounds and another example, according to some of those affected, of the English regions being overlooked. It's not fair, is it? Really? London getting everything as usual. <laughs> The southerners get more than everybody else. Just, I don't know why, why that should be, but I, I think it's outrageous. I think it's unfair, really. Yeah. The reason for this anomaly is that local governments in Wales, Scotland and in London have the power to set the free bus pass age independently of central government. Well, we have a directly elected mayor here in the West Midlands now, and one local MP feels it's high time he too got on board. I think our mayor should be doing what he promised, which is standing up for, for, the, for, uh, for the region and ensuring that older people get free access to public transport like they do elsewhere in the country. The subsidised travel spend is currently £100 million. The changes he's calling for would cost a further £15 million. £15 million, pounds, it's a lot of money. Can we afford this? The West Midlands doesn't get a fair deal from central government and I think we need a mayor who's gonna, who is prepared to stand up to Theresa May and argue for the extra resources that the West Midlands needs. What's the point of having a mayor if everything's just going to carry on as it did before? When the bus pass age was raised from 60 by the Labour government in 2010, it was reported that the Treasury would save a billion pounds. And we can be sure that if the policy is reversed here in the West Midlands, other English regions will be queuing up to demand the same. Callum Watkinson, ITV News, Dudley. Well, we tried to speak to Andy Street for a comment today, but he was unavailable. He's the chair of the West Midlands Combined Authority, though, and in a statement it said, in addition to the English National Concessionary Pass Scheme, those aged 65 and above who live in the metropolitan West Midlands also enjoy free travel on the region's trains and trams. This additional benefit is paid for locally through council tax revenues. A woman from Stoke-on-Trent is defending her right to have a baby with one of Britain's most notorious prisoners. Soap actress Paula Williamson is engaged to Charles Bronson.